I'm Rosanna Faraci. I'm here at the People Will Stare fashion launch. I'm not sure what it is. It's full of surprises. I'm with Carly Gulliver. Now you have your own fashion label. What do you expect this evening? I know Melissa Nixon very well and if I know her as well as I think I do, tonight will be epic. It will be nothing short of like crazy rock chick. She will take you to a place where you feel uncomfortable. So if you've ever had a conversation with Mel, you'll know what I mean. She has that energy where you go, but it is inspiring and it's like energizing. Tonight will be epic. I'm here with Mel Nixon who organized People Will Stare. Tell me a little bit about the event and how it came about. So this has been something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now, so it's been in the computer for some time. Um, it is an event which is, I'm wanting to try and celebrate um, what I do as a creative um, and celebrating the world of editorial styling. Living in Melbourne we tend to be a little bit safe in what we do because it is bound by a lot of commercial you know, um, rules if you like. So um, this is sort of my chance to um, break those rules a little bit and um, I do have that reputation in the industry to, to do that. So um, I'm just playing along. So can you disclose a little bit about what's going to happen? So tonight is going to be like a sensory overload, if you like, for our guests. So the whole idea is making sure that they've got something to see and hear all the time touch and feel, so um, getting their senses sort of wired and potentially making them feel um, a little bit out of their comfort zone and getting them a bit nervous about their surroundings but at the same time enjoying themselves. I'm here with supermodel teen sensation Mika Woolard. Now I haven't seen you since the last time I photographed you, how are you? I'm very, very good, thank you, how are you? I'm really good. What have you been up to? You've been to LA and overseas. What's happening? I've been LA, I've been New York, and we're talking about Korea very soon. So, so do you have a contract in Korea? Yes, it's in the makings. Oh, wow. So last time I saw you, how old are you now? Uh, 14. You've like grown yeah, so much taller. <laughs> now you're here at this event. Yeah. Do you know what to expect? No, I don't know what to expect, but I know it's going to be amazing. I'm here for the evening with the photographer, Leanne. Now tell me, what do you have in store for us? We have so much in store for you tonight. Um, we're basically going to be going through, you know, how our shoots evolve, um, especially going from commercial to editorial and how we elevate. And yeah, just showing you guys what we do best. So behind the scenes that no one's seen, I'm really looking forward to it. Any other little things up your sleeve? Oh, well, you'll have to wait and see. I'm here with the star of the show, supermodel Brooke Hogan. What do we have to expect? Tonight is absolutely crazy. So I actually wasn't even too sure what to expect until I got here today. Um, everybody's in for a treat. I don't want to like say too much, but um, there's been a lot of work gone into this and it's going to be an amazing, amazing night. You look absolutely stunning. Is this unlike anything you've ever done? really unlike anything I've ever done. It's a bit scary, but I guess that's what it's all about is getting out of your comfort zone and just doing things that you wouldn't normally do. So yes, it is extremely, sorry, new and different for me, but it's also really exciting as well. And what's been happening in the modeling world? What can we look forward to seeing you in? Oh, I don't know. Um, I've just been traveling a little bit. I just got back from Italy. I was in Shanghai as well, shooting a campaign over there. So a little bit of travel now that it's coming up to spring racing. I'm going to be home for a little bit. Spring racing is my favorite time of the year. So I always have to make sure I'm home for then. Um, but yeah, I guess just a little bit of everything. Well, you look stunning Thanks. and I look forward to seeing you in front of the camera. She's sitting softly out of bed, dressed in joy soundlessness while he slept. She tiptoed to the bathroom. On the shelf she found a face powder and a lipstick and shell rose wrappings. She smiled at them. Wife? Mistress? How good was it to contemplate these objects without the slightest tremor of regret, envy or jealousy? That was the meaning of freedom. Free from attachment, dependency and the capacity for pain. She breathed deeply and she felt she found this source of pleasure for good. I hope that I've brought you into a place where you, know, you may not necessarily feel 100% comfortable or it may feel very familiar to you and that's great. I hope you've had some sensory overload at some point because um, as a creative that's kind of how we um, are inspired and it's how we continue to better ourselves and better our work and hopefully inspire others.
The purpose of this exercise of this shoot was not to just get shots of Brooke, not to get shots of Brooke because she was an insta-famous person, not at all. Um, in watching her and, and, um, the de and her development and her career, um, it was a challenge for me, and I love a challenge. Anyone who knows me knows I love a bit of a challenge, and I will never say no to a challenge. So I challenged myself, and I thought, how can we push this beauty out of her comfort zone? A lot of people would see Brooke as being a commercial face. You know, she has a face that can be adapted to pretty much any commercial suit that shoots. So you probably expect to see Brooke on, you know, potentially maybe a, a campaign, a clothing campaign. Um, when I say clothing campaign, a domestic brand, for example, you might expect to see her on a, you know, a billboard for um, Kmart or Target or so, you know, a really strong domestic brand. And I didn't think that she should be pigeonholed or believe that, you know, that's somewhere that she needed to potentially stay. So I thought, let's, let's do something really cool. And she was on Australia's Next Top Model. And for me, my whole my whole journey was based around me being this commercial model, which obviously Mel has touched on. And they were saying that that was my strength and that I was basically, they kind of did, they pigeonholed me into this, mm. you know, you're commercial, you can't really do editorial, so I've had it in my brain, it's, you know, it's been five or six years since I was on the show, and I've had it in my brain this whole time, like, you know, I can't do this, it's not my strength, and then um, over the years I've done a few shoots here and there that take you out of your comfort zone, and then especially when Mel approached me about this job, I was like, okay, this is amazing, this is the time for me to sort of get out of my comfort zone and just to do something really fun and creative, and, you know, like, when I look at these images, Yes, he's not lying. When it was minus, it was so cold and windy and it was just horrible. But when I look at these images, like I don't see it as me. I see the beautiful hair, the makeup, the photography, the styling, and then as a whole, it is, it's honestly art. I don't see it as me. I just kind of go, wow, that's really cool. Like, it's just really cool then to go, okay, wow, well, that's me. And I can do this. And for this whole time, I've been told, no, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't. And it's like, you know what? No, I can. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's been amazing, and I was so grateful for this opportunity to work with you guys. That's amazing. And I think too, with creatives as you as, as those who are in this industry, it doesn't matter if you're hair, makeup, photography, creative director, whatever. It doesn't mean, it doesn't matter. Not even if you're up and coming or kind of don't quite know where to tap into. It is so important to. It's exactly what Brooke said. We haven't. This is all very organic too. We haven't rehearsed any of this. Just PS. But. Um, what I was going to say too, what she said is so important. As a creative director, for her to be able to look at an image as a whole and kind of say, and see it as an image. Because not Brooke put, you know, she's yeah. all the clothes, she saw herself dressed up, and she's like, oh, I don't know about this. But the minute she actually saw, saw the image and what we were creating, then she realised what we were actually visualising and trying to create for her. And seeing the image as a whole, not just seeing the garments, not just seeing the hair, not just seeing the makeup, seeing the image as a whole, seeing it as a story. And I think that's what's really important and very, very potent and powerful about editorial. It's that whole red carpet thing, um, and the, the, you know, it's a huge difference from like doing something like this to doing red carpet makeup. Um, you know, there's there's such a difference. Like working on an editorial photo shoot, um, you know, you can move things, you can play. There's like so much more that you add. You know. Um, your kit becomes glitter and sequins and, you know, uh, gems and what we, we use so much today. Um, so that's that's the, a huge difference. Like, and I do both of those of those roles. Like, we recently just made a shoot. Um, oh, thanks, honey. Just before I start talking, I'd love to thank Mel for putting this amazing event together. Thank you very much, and thanks for everyone for coming along. I'm gonna, um, look. There is, there is no secrets, really, as such, behind these things. It's just you've got to bring yourself into it. I think that's the real secret behind it. You've got to give it your all. You can't just come half-heartedly towards it. And you've got to trust yourself as an artist. Exactly, do you know what I mean? So, and then, like Mal said, you've got to work as a team as well. I mean, like, well, one, one good thing that I heard from someone ages ago was, you look at a magazine, like, for example, take Vogue magazine, for instance, you just, swipe through the pages, you know what I mean, and you just flick it. But if you really think about it, you look at an image and you just look from every aspect of it.
There has been a lot of time put into it. There has been a lot of passion put into it. Do you know and how I mean? easy is it to it's plagiarise and to replicate? So exactly. how do you yeah. make that our own? Yeah, you so know, it's just like, it's, it's, it's more of like coming as, as a team.